In this video, I'm gonna reveal the niches that are earning the most money on Etsy right now. Plus, I'm also going to show you examples of top selling print on demand products and digital printable products in these niches to help inspire you to create your own new top selling products. And I'll also be popping each niche into Google Trends so that we can see the long term trajectory and expected sales for each niche, which is going to be really interesting. So then, let's start with niche number one. Funny gifts. Look, it's simple. People love to buy stuff that makes them laugh. And it's not just because, well, everybody likes to laugh. It's because it makes for an amazing gift. You see, psychology has shown through studies that when we buy and give gifts for others, we are hoping for something in return. We want a reaction. And so that's a big reason why funny gifts are so popular. You're almost guaranteed to get a reaction, which is why Etsy customers love the sweatshirt. Allure estimates that it's made over $58,000. And check out this funny print on demand sweatshirt, which is also sold as a t shirt. Allure estimates that it's made over $8,000 this month. And here's a tip about this niche this niche pairs surprisingly well with free vintage photos that you can find and download on the internet. For example, in this YouTube tutorial here, I showed this photo that you can download from Wikimedia for free. It was a photo taken of protesters during the Prohibition era, they were protesting the banning of liquor. Well, that was a long time ago, and so this photo is now old enough that the copyright has expired and it's now in the public domain, so anyone can legally resell it if they want. And so the seller here has remastered it and is now selling it as a print-on-demand wall art, and it's estimated to have made them an extra $600 last month. And the cool thing, in my opinion, is that these days, thanks to AI tools like DeepAI, it makes remastering and upscaling old cool vintage photos really easy. And these funny vintage photos can also sell really great as printable digital products if you'd prefer to sell those. For example, this seller here is selling that same photo but as a printable poster and is estimated to have made an extra $487 this month from people downloading it. Nice! So yes, clearly this is a popular niche on Etsy. So now the question is, what is the long-term sales outlook for it? Well, unsurprisingly, Google Trends shows us that demand is just as high as ever, but it also shows that demand definitely peaks throughout the year during gift holidays. Obviously, Christmas is the biggest, but you can see that it has many peaks too. Like right now, for example, it's rising because as of me filming this video, it's gonna be Mother's Day in about a week. So then, next up is niche two wildflowers. Look, a lot of people are surprised when I tell them that this is a mega popular niche on Etsy because it's super specific. But it's very trendy right now and there are loads of opportunities to create top selling print on demand products and digital printable products in this niche. Take this print on demand flower sticker on Etsy. Here's the thing, right? This sticker, it's been up on Etsy for less than two months. And already, Allure estimates it's made over 2,800 US dollars. And take this print on demand t-shirt. Allure estimates that it's made over $6,000 this month. And check out this flower print on demand sweatshirt. Allure estimates it's made over $4,600 this month. And take a look at this print on demand mug. Allure estimates that it's made over $4,800 this month. But as I said, this niche doesn't just do well with print on demand products, it can also be great for digital printable products too. For example, take this pack of nine downloadable flower marker posters. Allure estimates that it's made over $380,000. That's pretty crazy. So Sarah, I can hear you asking, clearly it's very trendy right now, but what's the long-term sales outlook for this niche? Well, taking a look on Google Trends, there is definitely an interest that peaks around spring. However, as you can see, interest is overall rising, which will result in more customers in the future for it. Nice. So then let's now move on to niche three, pets. So just like with those funny products that I showed you earlier, one of the reasons why pet products are mega popular is because they are given as gifts. After all, what is more likely to get a reaction from someone than gifting them something that reminds them of their pet that they love and adore? Which is why people love this hilarious cat-themed print-on-demand t-shirt. Allure estimates that it's made over $2,000 in the past month. And take this print-on-demand dog-themed sweatshirt. Allure estimates that it's made nearly $90,000 which is pretty cool. And by the way, if you're watching this and you're curious about how I and others earn passive income every day by selling print on demand products like t-shirts and sweatshirts, you should be sure to download my free step-by-step ebook, which I'll have a link to download in the video description. 
But just speaking of downloads, you can actually make a lot of money from downloads in this niche. For example, take the store which specializes in pet niche products, both physical and printable. They've been open for less than three years. In the past month, Allure estimates that they've made over 80,000 Canadian dollars, which is over 58,000 US dollars. While they're selling this pet portrait poster as either a printable download or a print on demand poster, it's estimated to have earned over 8,600 Canadian dollars this month, which is over 6,300 US dollars. And they're actually also selling a huge range of print on demand products too. Take their pet phone case, which is estimated to have earned 7,700 Canadian dollars this month, which is over 5,500 US dollars and their pet mug, which is estimated to have made over 176,000 Canadian dollars in total, which is over 130,000 US dollars. Wow. And you can probably see a clear passion here, can't you? They are killing it by selling custom products. And you know, AI has made it much easier these days to sell these. It used to be that if you wanted to sell a custom pet portrait, you'd have to paint the portrait yourself for the customer. But now you can use AI tools to turn a photo they provide into a fun portrait with AI art filters. For print on demand products, you would then just upload that portrait that you created onto a product that you want to sell and then buy it individually for the customer as a one-off purchase. Or for digital products, you would just upload the portrait onto the file template you've created in advance and then make a new copy for the customer. And if like the store, you're willing to take the extra time to customize a product for your customer, the profit margins you can make are huge. For example, take their mug, they're selling it for 25 US dollars, while on Printify you can get a white mug printed for $3.56. Allura's profit calculator shows that after fees, that would leave you with a profit margin of about 75%, and so even if you do hire an assistant or scale your sales with paid ads, that leaves a lot of margin to do so. So clearly, Sarah, this niche makes a lot of money, right? But what is the long-term outlook for sales in it? Well, putting the two most popular pets, dogs and cats into Google Trends, you can see that interest is held steady, with interest in cats actually slightly on the rise. They're both mega popular niches right now, and it looks like they'll be staying that way too. So, on to niche number four, holidays. So as I said earlier in this video, as of me filming this video, Mother's Day is in a week. <laughs> Although Mother's Day will have already come and gone by the time I release this video. So if you're watching this, I hope you had a great Mother's Day. But yes, currently on Etsy, products that are aimed at mothers and grandmothers are going gangbusters. Especially this trend here of creating custom mother gardens with the names of the children and grandchildren being intertwined with the stems of the flowers. This is just selling like crazy. So many sellers are making money all by selling their own variations of this massive trend and earning thousands and thousands of dollars, selling it onto print on demand t-shirts, sweatshirts, mugs, blankets, you name it. But pretty much any holiday is a massive opportunity to make a lot of money on Etsy. For example, you've got lots of different celebration days to take advantage of, not just Mother's Day, such as Valentine's Day and Father's Day. Take for example this print on demand t-shirt which is often sold on Father's Day. Allure estimates that it's made over $80,000. But that's not all, because you've also got your more traditional holidays such as Christmas, Thanksgiving, Easter and Halloween. Like take this Halloween themed print on demand t-shirt. Allure estimates that it's made over $80,000 too. And if you're inspired by this and you're interested in this niche, I've got some important data that I want to share with you to help you maximize the amount of money that you make from it. But first, a quick word from today's sponsor, me. Yes, there are so many shady sponsors on YouTube these days and I thought, why not just sponsor my own video instead? So if you would like to start your own Etsy print on demand store, but you'd like some help, I actually have a video course, the Ecom Clubhouse, which shows how to set one up step by step. If you're interested in seeing if it's right for you, I'll have a link to it in the video description. But anyway, back to that data that I want to show you. So check this out. If we put a holiday like Mother's Day into Google Trends, you'll see that interest starts climbing about a month before the actual holiday. So make sure that you have your products ready well in advance if you want to maximize the money that you earn from this niche. And so now we're on to niche number five, weddings. Ah yes, weddings. They are a massive niche on Etsy. And it makes sense. Weddings are expensive. And so most people try to DIY as much of it as they can to save money, which is why people like to purchase printable wedding products so they can print them off and save money making their own. 
For example, take this printable wedding invitation template. Allure estimates that it's made over 1,800 euros this past month, which is over 2,000 US dollars. People also like to purchase physical products too for their weddings because it's usually a lot cheaper than buying it from an offline store. Take for example this print on demand wedding sign. Customers can order it either as a poster or canvas, both of which can be printed on demand with Printify. Allure estimates that this has made about $5,000 in the past month. Plus another type of product that's popular within this niche are gifts for newlyweds and newly engaged couples. Take for example this candle. Allure estimates that it's made nearly $90,000, which is very cool. But wait, I can hear a bunch of people saying, Sarah, how on earth am I supposed to sell candles? I don't just have a candle workshop in my house. Well, did you know that Printify has a range of candles that you can print on demand that come in different scents? And if you were to also sell your candles for $16.95, then you'd be left with about a 37% profit margin after Etsy fees. That's a big profit margin to add in any extra ads or marketing or help from a virtual assistant if you want to scale your sales. So yes, Sarah, clearly wedding products are very popular, but are they gonna stay popular or is this just a trend that's about to pop? Well, as Google Trends shows, it's already a huge niche that, like the dog niche, is holding steady and looks to be remaining popular well into the future too. So then, did my video inspire you? If it did, please subscribe for more videos like this. And to see how I design print-on-demand products to sell, be sure to watch my video here on screen, how to design 30 t-shirts in just four hours. Kakatiana, I'll see you on the next video.